Well, apparently, I wasn't recording my microphone when I was recording all of these videos. 30 minutes of footage, all down the drain, because my computer wasn't recording the audio. Anyway, this is supposed to be a single episode for uh, Oxygen Not Included, but I think I'll just skip through parts of this video that I supposedly worked on that didn't have any voiceover. Actually, I forgot what I was talking about here. It was a couple of days ago. But from what it looks like, I turned, I added a... Actually, let's just go to the actual... Uh, to my actual base. And I'll show you what I have been up to since what happened here? Why is there so much carbon dioxide? I think I have to close this one. Okay, that's a problem. I don't like that. Are my carbon skimmers not working? Okay. Excuse me. So I placed the power control station in the full oxygen generator that I have. I put the control generator and the hydrogen generator inside a power plant so that uh, the thermo my thermo action tuner would have higher uptime because without this, it just runs like 50% of the time. It runs, stops, runs, stops, and I mean, about half second. So I put it here. And it supposedly works, but my tubes really has to... Oh, okay, there is a engine tuner. See, it can now afford to shut down for a few seconds. Now, another thing I did is... All of this creates polluted... Uh, no. Right, polluted dirt. All of this creates polluted dirt. So, I don't want polluted oxygen accumulating somewhere in my base. So, what I did is... I put the... The parachutes on top of a small pool of water. So, it doesn't emit polluted oxygen. The same thing goes for here. In my oil well oil refinery setup. And my main power plant is almost is actually done. Yes, it's actually done. So this setup is a bit uh, a bit more complicated than, than the usual you see. Because I put buffers here. For example, the petroleum has a has three buffer tank buffer tanks. I use three buffer tanks for the petroleum generator. And two batteries here. Smart batteries. This first smart battery is connected to the natural gas generator and will start at 40%. The other smart battery is connected to the petroleum generator and will start at 10%. So the natural gas generator will start first before the petroleum generator. And I also have this similar polluted water pump set up so that before it starts emitting a lot of polluted oxygen it's already being pumped the hydrogen sensor is set to one kilogram both of this is set to one kilogram and you have two carbon skimmers here all the carbon dioxide this system produces is either you know just emits gets emitted here and the natural gas generator is emitting it there so that the carbon skimmer just skim it and the water supply is coming from here from this water sieve that comes from my polluted water source and the polluted water output of this carbon skimmer is going back to that water sieve so it's, it's just recirculating now I have to stop this I have to stop the operation of this uh, oil well since I have I think I have enough oil to last for about 100 cycles not 100 cycles maybe 20 30 cycles depending on my power consumption but I doubt it would I doubt I would use this anytime soon so this generates a lot of heat and to cool this I'm creating another setup another steam turbine aqua tuner setup now the only thing different here is that I have another thermo sensor which I will set to 200 degrees celsius and that's connected well, that's supposed to be connected to the steam turbine the other thermo sensor is supposed to be at 150 degrees let me make that 200 200 degrees celsius it's connected to the thermo actuator now i can adjust this to like 180 in case this thermo actuator becomes hotter before this 
Thermo sensor just you know you know it doesn't break before this one tells it to stop. Another thing that I'm doing here is that I place a small notch here so that when this is filled with um, steam, the oxygen would go here so I don't have to deconstruct one of this and get my tubes fried again. And that's how I'm gonna kill it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get some uh, crude oil. Pump into a reservoir here and pump it to the thermo aquature and the thermo aquature, aquature will cool it and I'll run it through this setup. Right, another thing that I found in the previous video that didn't have any voiceover that I'm recreating because, yeah, well, who, who wants to watch a bad video without the voiceover? I found a hot polluted oxygen vent. I think that's the second in this map. The other one is here. And I really don't know what to do with it right now. So my next goal is to just continue exploring the map. Hopefully I'd find a iron volcano. Because that would be very, very useful. Next is I'm going to start exploring this part. Hopefully I'd find another volcano or geyser here. It would be very helpful in getting my base sustained. So uh, another thing, power related. I need to put batteries here. I think I'll use copper, because I have a lot of copper. Maybe one wire, okay, I'll go to lead. There. Hopefully that will create a good standby power supply. What is happening here? It's overheating? Alright, I, I really need to get this cooling system running. Should I just use polluted water since I, I'm not going to run this? below 0 degrees celsius polluted water in 2.3 cycles I'll have more polluted water so okay. here's how I will deal with it here. the reason why I put a liquid bridge here is so that it would be easy to deconstruct it even though this pipe has a lot of or is filled with polluted water I can just deconstruct it and it's not gonna spill anything so we'll just wait for 2.3 cycles and we'll start filling this up. Now the next thing is we're gonna have a rigid pipe. Run. Okay, let's run the other side. Rigid pipe running from here. Actually, we need that. Celsius, I think it's fine. We need that uh, bypass thing again. Shut off. This time I want it made out of aluminum pipe thermo sensor. There. There. Wait, 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 wait. Here. No. We don't want it to reverse again. So we're gonna put there. Okay. about that when you're trying to build something and the next day starts it does that it's not big of a problem but it's a bit annoying okay so we're gonna run this here this one down i think this is the biggest scene so we'll see we'll see and we're gonna pipe it through here we also want this area cooled But hmm, I can't think of a decent way actually. Let's do that. So they don't have so we don't have to put a bridge here. Let's just divide it like that. Like that. Like that. Hmm, this is starting to look like a mess. Alright, so the reason for these two valves here is so that I could choose to divert all of the polluted water to go through here instead of going through here so uh, we have some time we can get some time to like for example we use this all up and we refill it with water that has germs that that came from the water sieve we want it to be at a warm temperature to make it a bit faster make the death of the bacteria a bit faster 
So we'll only cool it when it's already like like zero surface chips. Actually get automated, but I still don't have an idea on how to like check every single tile for bacteria. I don't want to put a sensor on everything. So let's just leave it. Uh, let's just make that you know, manual for now. Our setup's good. We just have to wait for the dupes to actually finish it. And then we can continue exploring. Okay, so my cool oxygen generator running down problem. The pipes are blocked because the electrolyzers are not using enough water because it's at max gas pressure because we're creating or making too much making too much oxygen. So we have to throw some of the water away not exactly throw but we're just going to pipe it somewhere priority number nine and we have to open this okay so i've now enclosed this cooling system this turbine aqua tuner cooling system now we just have to plug this liquid shut off and we can start running this thing now we just have to wait until it cools down So while we're waiting, I think it's a good time to start exploring this part. Let's do the ladder. And take everything. Or at least four tile high. Hopefully we'll see another geyser here. Hopefully. Okay, Cravaldo is getting stressed out. Popped eardrums. Where'd he go? Okay, so I found this small space with natural gas in it and I'm pretty certain there's a natural gas natural gas geyser here look there's even a drone but you can see the actual geyser so we have to explore that we have to explore that area by going through I guess we'll just have to go through here to access that uh, we have to create we'll have to build more um, Atmo suit, uh, Atmo suit uh, stations here because we don't want to deal with all of the chlorine and our tubes are going to get fried so it's, a bit, it's going to be a bit hot okay so we just created a bit of a mess here I don't know what happened was that dirt? or was that sand? That's, I think it's just sand oh there you go there's our natural gas geyser now I don't really need power at this point so Maybe we'll work on this a little bit later. Okay, clean those up. Clean that up. Clean that up. What the hell, Rivaldo? Why are you vomiting? You're unrested. Why haven't you rested? Come on. Everyone. Work on it. Don't want vomit all over the base. You're not yet done. Come on! How much vomit do you have in there? Ah. Okay, this is starting to get annoying. What, what are you... Are you gonna go for one more? Ah. Okay, tubes, this is a problem. Oh, okay, he's done being stressed. Now he just left a mess of vomit. Everyone's... We're gonna clean that up. Nobody's going to rest without that cleaned up. Okay. Why aren't you cleaning it up? Clean it up. Alright. Good. Is there something there? That's weird. Now just... Now just clean those up. Put that in... Wherever they're supposed to be. Okay, so in my new aperture turbine setup... Uh, as I mentioned before, I put a thermo sensor that will tell the stream turbine to only go active when it's above 180 degrees Celsius. The other sensor is telling this to disable when it's above 200 degrees, 200 degrees Celsius. So as you can see, its efficiency is higher than the one, the other one we have here. All right, so 200 watts when it's running. But this one. 700 watts around the 
700, 800 watts. Almost 800. 576 watts, so that's almost twice, more than twice than what we are producing here. So, when you're creating a setup, don't forget to limit when the steam turbine is actually operating. Okay, so Travaldo is still stressed out because he's... Why is he stressed out? The duplicate is feeling the pressure. His morale is low. Okay, what does he want? Okay, whatever. And I don't want him vomiting all over the base again, so we are going to create... Yeah, we're going to build a massage table somewhere, I guess. This would be a good place to put a massage table. Actually, make this a recreation room. We'll make this a recreation room. Doors here. And ladders here. What do we need for a recreation room? We just need recreational building on here. Take our item. So, just put some flowers in there. Now we have to power that. Where are we going to get our power? I guess we can get it from here. Is this going to use up? It's going to use up 100 to 140 watts. That's a lot. Let's see, what are we running here? Oh, printable. Oxyfern, of course. So, how much power are these things using? So, 340. Well, it's not really much. I guess we can run this too along with the others. We just don't want to run them all at the same time. Just have to be careful, so we won't overload overload the circuit. Right, our recreation room is done, but our tubes decided to get a massage first before planting the decor item, so... Why? Oh, there. So it's not gonna give them any bonus because of that, so... Still a... Why? Okay... Build that door. Now it's a massage clinic. Wait. Did I miss something? Okay. So I forgot about that. Apparently, a massage a massage table isn't the same as a recreational, a recreational building. Well, doesn't really matter how much is giving. Uh, no, it's not giving any morale, it just improves stress reduction. I think we have to... I'm gonna start making a recreation room somewhere. Here, no, but... This undisturbed uh, tiles is a good place to... Have pip... Pips. Have pips plant wild plants. So I don't want to touch that. I guess we can make it here. Create... The recreation... What the heck? I'm going to... No, no, let's do let's do this first. Don't, please, don't do everything about that. Alright. We're going to create it here. Small recreation. I want this to be airlock. The pneumatic door. And what recreational building are we going to put here? A jukebox. We will need a lot of power for that, so we're going to... Okay, this is a bit of a problem. Guess I'll put it here. And dig this one out. Okay, now we have a problem in our cooling system. We ran out of power and we have to jump start it, but there's so much pressure here that whoever's gonna 
we're just gonna try working on this. Gonna have their eardrums pop. If I connect it, I think I'll just connect it to the rest of the base. Let's put an override in this system. Let's put a switch. Put a switch here. Connect there. Put that in a high priority. So our dupes gonna do so our dupes are going to do it first. Hopefully by connecting these two circuits, we'll be able to what are you doing? No, not 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 good. That's why you people are getting stressed. Stupid dupes. Go and get out. Let's enable this building. Alright, we're in. Now it's going to share the power from the other side of the base. Okay, May, why are you dying? To the tree edge to the tree edge cut with you. Okay, so I now have to open up the doors in my cold oxygen generator because the pressure is building up so much here that I couldn't access it anymore without getting my tubes. Uh, without getting the eardrums of my tubes pop. So, plan is to maybe hopefully add another carbon skimmer somewhere, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how, what we can do with this setup. So down to 8.3 kilograms. Add another one here. Good. There. There. So what where are we gonna get our power? Uh, I think we can get it from here. Okay, something printable. Ethanol. Put that in high priority. So you want that to finish as soon as possible. Down to 7.5 kilograms. Our cooling is still good. Okay, we have to change this because the reason this got uh, this system stopped earlier is because yeah, this happened. Got filled with water, so we need to bypass something here, or we need to bypass this. Uh, Need to bypass this piping by adding that. Okay, taking them so long. We now have a carbon dioxide problem here. What? It's taking so long. Alright, good. Ash can. What's your problem? Pop eardrops. Oh, this is so bad. This is very bad. But at least our dupes' eardrums are not popping all the time. Less likely to pop. Is his eardrums gonna pop? Eh, uh hey, -huh, his eardrums pop. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't run there. I don't. I don't know why I turned that on. You know, I turned it off. Now we just have to wait for the carbon skimmers to do their work. Alright, so there's another geyser here. Wonder what this is. Hopefully it's something really useful. Alright, check this out. It's a carbon dioxide geyser. Not very useful, right? But look at the temperature. Negative 55 degrees Celsius. That's cold. Maybe I can use this to cool my base? Or at least cool the area around it. We'll see. Alright, so a few cycles later, the carbon dioxide problem we had earlier is already almost under control. Maybe give this 10 more cycles and it would be back to normal. Not like the 2300 grams, it's still a lot, but not as bad as 9.9 .9 kilograms which we had earlier. So, there you have it, guys. So, 
I guess what we've covered here in this video is on how to set up a power plant, how to cool that power plant, and how to deal with problems including stress. Stick is stressed again. Why? Stopping wet. Where did you... Okay, follow cap. Follow cap. Where are you stinky? Where you been? Well... Well, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions or comments, just let me know in the comments.